Hey pals, it's your gal, Lou. Hope you're okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and to be honest, if you're watching this, you probably do know, this September, I cycled 200 miles for uh, cancer research to raise money for them and in memory of my amazing granddad who sadly passed away from cancer this year. Um, I made it even more of a challenge for myself because I didn't have a bike helmet, a gym membership or a bike lol uh, so I spent the whole month trying to kind of beg borrow or steal didn't do that uh, bicycles bikes uh, so that I could hit my challenge um, I videoed and documented the whole thing because I'm nuts um, I've already uploaded the first week I guess I'll put like a link in the description below so you can watch that if you haven't already uh, but this is how I got on in week two that's all I have to say. I hope you have a great day. Uh, bye. Hello, hello, hello. It's day nine. Um, and I feel like I've been really lazy the past two days, even though I haven't. Um, so I've not been for my cycle yet today. It's 5 p.m. But I did go off the end. <laughs> Apparently I've lost the ability to talk. I went for one yesterday, but it was only a quick one because I spent two hours making a cake because my best pal has just bought a house, so I went to visit her and then decided to get really ambitious and made a cake that looked like a cottage. So I, I didn't really have that long to go, but I did do a short one that was, I think, 2.7 miles or something. So as of today, I'm at 70 miles and I think I'm nearly at the £800 mark. Maybe I've hit it, I can't remember, but... Yeah, I got uh, 60 quid or so in the last couple of days, which is amazing. Um, and the weather outside is insane for September. Um, but I am in a lot, 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 a lot of pain. So my plan is to go for a little bit of a walk in the sun, just so I don't waste what some we have left in England. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And I think I'm going to do another 12 or so, I want to say, just because I didn't do that many yesterday. I feel like I have to make up for it. And yeah, I want to get as many in as I can, when I can, um, before I don't really have the chance to do loads. I'm not making sense, but basically I'm going to the gym so I can wax them out tonight because I'm just feeling really sore and not that keen on going on a bike. Although I might get out for a little bit now, just while the weather's nice, and then come back, and then get changed, and then go to the gym and do some more. Um, but yeah, I've had a bit of a crappy two days. Um, I found out yesterday that the flat that I live in, uh, yeah, found out that we have a month to move. So now I've lost my granddad, lost my job, lost my flat, all in the last three months, which is great. Um, but bad things come in threes, and that was the third. So the only way is up, I'm over it. I have absolutely no plan. Don't know what I'm gonna do. But that is by the by. Um, and some money doing some voiceover work today. So things are looking up. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy the sun while I can. Then I'm gonna bum some miles out. Then I'm hosting my dad's side of the family family quiz. And that's it for today. Hey, it's voiceover Lou. Uh, so I went to the gym, I went on a bike, then I went on the spinning bike to try to go faster. Uh, but lol, I look really slow in a second. Um, and then I tried to go back on the first one, but someone had already taken it. So it was basically a big lava. I did 16.10 in the end and came home and made cupcakes to cheer myself up. Morning, peeps. Uh, we're on, we, I'm on day 11. Um, I didn't do it yesterday and I felt so guilty, which is stupid because I'm ahead of my target and I'm doing it for myself. I'm not 
letting anyone down by not doing it but yeah I really 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 felt guilty I was kind of busy all day just doing things that I don't know took up time and then shopping with my mum and then went for dinner with my parents and by the time I got back it was pitch black and neither of the bikes I'm using have lights so yeah it was just a bit too dangerous um and yeah I'm wrapped with guilt which is fantastic what we love to see so I've still got the two bikes and this is the last time at my parents house so my plan is to do a big cycle with each bike and then drop it off and walk back um so hopefully I'll get at least six miles in um but I did do I think 16 yeah I think I did 16 the other day so I'm definitely ahead of target um I need about 20 uh in order to hit the halfway mark and it's still before the middle of the month which is good um so yeah I yeah I just feel really really guilty even today and I've woke up feeling crappy and worse than yesterday but the guilt is overpowering me really which is good and bad i guess um so yeah that's the plan i'll drop the bikes off and then one of the girls on my netball team said the other day that i can borrow her bike when i'm in london so hopefully that's still on uh because tomorrow our netball team are doing a kind of pub crawl biking boozing kind of thing which i'm really looking forward to so yeah that's that day 11 here we go just taking the bike back like a good citizen thank you happy i'm wonky happy day 12 hi pals um so i just got home from my parents um update on yesterday because i don't think i did one i did i think it was 4.8 or something miles and then I was going to do more when I dropped off the second bicycle, but unfortunately the lady didn't get back to me. And then I was going to take the bicycle back to her this morning, but I was strapped for time. Um, so mum and I drove it down instead. Um, and then I drove back and I was meant to be going to my housemate's picnic and the traffic has been horrendous. So I just sat in traffic for hours and hours. So I feel really bad um, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go there but I am going on my cycle with the netball girls so my plan is to just straighten my hair a bit because it's weird um, and then I'm going to go down to Wandsworth Park, maybe hire a bike early so I can get some miles in because I don't know how far we're going to go together today and then yeah cycle uh, but in exciting news um, I've come home to my dress is on that but i've come home to a package um from i don't show this cancer research um which is going to be my jersey i think so i'm going to try and open it now and we're going to have a look inside um i'm not going to large because it's a sunscreen jersey and i'm not thin in fact, what we're going to do is put How cool is that? That's amazing! So, yeah, that will definitely fit. And it's got some little... You can't see that at all. It's got pockets! three pockets in the back for I don't know whatever things cyclists have I'm gonna try it on now and give you a fashion show how exciting cool ah uh, fashion <laughs> okay so yeah here's basically loads of pictures I didn't take any videos um we had loads of different challenges so we had to take uh, pictures in every park we went to we had a drink and it's why we get messier and messier in every photo um and a Santander bike may or may not have ended up having a sleepover at one of the girls' houses. Who knows? Yay!
Oh, and if anyone asks how my cycling went, well, here you go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hi. Hello. I've just woken up from a nap, in case you can't tell by my really small eyes. Um, it's day 13. Wow, day 13. Okay, so we're nearly two weeks in. Um, yesterday, I went on a bike ride with the Netball Gals. And... Um... I am now over halfway. So it was that as an annoying day where the traffic was shite. Um, piked up a lot. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. It was really good. If you can't tell from how awful I look. Um, yeah, so I'm currently at 104 miles which is mad, so I only need to do 96 to go, which now actually seems like a really small number. Um, so hopefully it will be. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go get some food because it's nearly two o'clock and I've not eaten all day because um, I spent most of the morning asleep. Um, might go down the river because again, the weather is a beautiful today. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go down to the river Maybe get some food around there, or get some food around the street that I live, and then walk there because I don't have much longer to buy food before we have to move house, which I'm, yeah, I keep thinking about, and I'm really, really sad because I'm gonna miss this place a lot. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I might do a bit more cycling today because it'd be nice to get up to kind of 110. Um, and then from tomorrow, I believe I'm going to be borrowing a bike from one of my netball friends. She said it's awful, so we shall see. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go over 200, you know. Not to be, not to be brave or cocky, but I think I could actually do it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some food and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Hello, it's an exciting day. Why is an exciting day? I hear you cry from the rooftops. Well, uh, first of all, it's an exciting day because it's the heat wave and it's the middle of September. It's absolutely boiling. So that's really nice. I've got my Factor 50 on as ever. Um, another reason it's an exciting day is because I'm going to collect the bike that I've been talking about for weeks um, off my friend Emma, who's in my netball team. So, it's mid-afternoon now, it's about three. I'm gonna go hire my last Santander bike, I believe, of the month. Um, gonna do, I don't know, some laps, maybe go down by the river, because once again, it's a beautiful day. Um, and then I'm gonna go meet Emma in Hyde Park, I believe. Maybe have a couple cheeky drinks. Um, and then I'm gonna have a bike. Um, so that's that. I've also done something else a bit exciting, um, I can't say what yet, because I'm a woman of mystery, uh, but you will find out in a few days. So that's that. Also, um, I've been propagating some plants, and look how well they're growing. So I need to replant them. Yeah. All in all, it's a wonderful day. Things are happening. People are calling me about jobs. Who knows what's gonna happen in my life? Not me. But what I can tell you is the sun is shining, so I'm gonna go get some more freckles. Okay, bye. too good to be true so we are going to a, another cycle dock um yeah i got really excited i thought there was like 18 there um but it's been disconnected the thing so there's one around the corner i think we're gonna try that i think it's got eight bikes on so we shall see
doll. Um, so I've tried two different cards and it just keeps this popped up to... Uh, so I'm going to walk to a couple more and see if they'll work. Literally gone to four different Santander things and none of them seem to be working. They'll either like let you put in your thing and then not get anywhere or most of them you can't even press hire or cycle. So now I'm walking to number five and number six and if not then I'm just gonna, I don't know, buy some fish and chips or something. LOL! Okay, so uh, Emma and I went for dinner. Uh, as you can tell, I got the bike from her. This is Bumble. This video was just for me so I could see how to put it up, um, but I thought I'd include it so you can see what I had to do every day. Um, yeah, love Bumble. Shout out to Bumble for saving me this month. Uh, here I am on the tube and there's me riding into the distance. Watch out ladies, on my way to steal your man.